What is up guys? Welcome back to a very special edition of Freetography's Abandoned Adventures. Guys, tonight I'm spending the night all alone in an abandoned castle. Now it's not a castle like when you think of Dracula's castle or Frankenstein's castle, but it's actually called a castle. The inside of it is decorated and designed like a castle. The outside of it actually looks a little bit like a castle, but it's called a castle. So we're going to be here all night. It's going to be interesting. Hope you guys are here to stick around with me for the whole night and see how it goes. I do have to say that this video I will be using exclusively a through night TC20 flashlight. It goes from very, very low lumens to very high. So it's actually perfect for tonight when I can't use a lot of light and maybe in other parts where I need more light. So tonight, this entire video is brought to us by the through night TC20. Make sure you hit the link in the video description down below to check out the purchase link to buy yourself a through night TC20. All right, guys, cue the music, cue the intro. Let's go. In this video, I'm exclusively using the Thru-Night TC20 flashlight. The TC20 is super bright, rechargeable, easy to use, compact, and very handy. With several brightness levels, the TC20 is sure to suit any of your lighting needs. See the link in the video description and a 10% discount code to get your own Thru-Night TC20 rechargeable flashlight today. Okay guys, for starters, I'll show you my room. Found myself a nice room here. It's got one mattress. What I did, guys, is I put a sheet over the mattress, and then I've got a sleeping bag to sleep on top of and a sleeping bag for the top, and I've got my pillows. I've got a cooler with food and beer and coolers and drinks. There's my camera gear right there. So this is my room, and I even found myself a rocking chair to sit in. It's very nice. So this is my room, guys, where I'm sleeping, all right? Oh, I didn't even notice this. It's room 13. <laughs> didn't even, I honestly didn't even notice that. Okay, so I got to be careful around windows. I can't do a whole lot in here tonight. But I will be checking in with you guys quite frequently so you guys can see. Now, there's a number of rooms, all kinds of different rooms, bathrooms. There's no power but the, uh, the smoke uh, detector is beeping. So I'll take you guys and show you downstairs, okay? All right, this will all look much better in the morning <laughs> when I wake up and I can show you guys this place with uh, actual light. But I will show you guys. Look at the chandelier. A beautiful staircase, guys. You can barely see it, but it'll leave you coming back in the morning. It'll keep you sticking around. So this is the long, the main hallway. It's gorgeous, just gorgeous, guys. Look at this safe, giant built-in wall safe. Okay. So, there's a look at the main hallway. So, I'm going to uh, go grab myself something to eat. I'm going to hang out for a bit, and I'll check in with you guys all through the night. All right? Be back in a bit. Hey, guys. Okay. It's 12.30 at night. You guys want to go walk around a little bit and see what's going on? Show you guys some of the parts of the building at night? Okay, let's go. Okay. First thing I'm gonna show you guys is how bright this flashlight is, okay? In a pitch black area, ready, watch this. Look at how bright that is. That is a bright flashlight, guys. But I can't do that anymore, okay? I can't do that anymore. Oh. Okay, you guys wanna go see some stuff? 
go. and it's all wrapped up, okay, and some chairs, and then there's a table here, look at the ceiling, it's nice, right, okay, let's we'll see what else we got in here, here's our room with uh, some chairs, two rocking chairs, guys. chapel. That's just the room. Yeah, there's a medical wing with like uh, hospital beds and stuff. So they had some kind of a care here for, for retired people, older people. Okay. If you can see it, this is the, uh, this is the chapel. see all this and oh there's uh, yeah, a confession we'll see it all tomorrow in, in, in the light not just the flashlight okay I'll see you guys upstairs okay guys so it's about 1 1 30 in the morning so I'm gonna hit the sack take my boots off go to bed maybe I'll set my alarm for around 8 o'clock in the morning so I'm not sleeping in too long. Anyways, guys, this has been a pretty cool night. I hope you guys are excited for the morning so I can show you how awesome this place is. So uh, yeah, guys, see you in the morning, sweet dreams. Good morning, guys. Just got up, 9 a.m. I think I snoozed for about an hour. Pretty uneventful night. I didn't hear any weird noises. No doors slamming, no footsteps. No, nothing creaking, nothing. Guys, this place is definitely not haunted because nothing happened in the night. I had a pretty good sleep with the exception of waking up every once in a while and going back to sleep. So, so unfortunately, guys, it's not haunted here. Fortunately for me, because I had a good sleep. Unfortunate for you guys, because now it's not as good of a video. But I'm going to get up. I'm going to uh, have some breakfast. I'm going to drink some Gatorade and pack up my stuff here. And then we're going to go take a tour. And I'll show you guys this entire place inside and out, top to bottom. So be right back. I pretty much always pack the same thing to eat when I'm on these road trips. For breakfast, I always bring uh, cottage cheese. I pre-hard-boiled -boil eggs, I bring, for each day that I'm here, I bring two hard-boiled eggs. I cut up the hard-boiled egg, and I put it in the cottage cheese. Yeah. So I cut up the hard-boiled egg. mix it all up and then I have hard boiled egg and cottage cheese for breakfast. Also, I bring uh, little cheese cubes and uh, usually I bring uh, turkey or chicken pepperettes like this. 
I got a little bit of meat. I got some cheese. I got hard boiled eggs. And I got cottage cheese. And that's my breakfast every morning on a urbex road trip. This way I don't gotta go run out and get myself something. I can just go and get on the road and get started. I don't have to go buy something. I will stop and pick up a coffee though. I mean, it's not the most interesting breakfast in the world. It doesn't have a lot of flavor, but it's easy guys and it does the trick. I also pack strawberries and pineapple. Like this, see? Gives a little bit of a, a zing after eating something so bland. Wakes up my mouth a little bit. Okay guys, I'm all packed up. Now it's time to go explore. So let's go down to the main floor and we'll start from there. All right guys, so here we are. This is the front door of the main front of the house and the main front foyer. So we're gonna head right to the door and we'll turn around and we'll show you guys the first thing you see when you walk in, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous front main hallway. It's three chandeliers, I've got pillars. It almost looks to me like these here were added. I don't know, let's see these come around. Yeah, I almost feel like this used to be one big open hall without the walls. Okay, head on, heading on in here to the right. And there's an office, there's a fireplace there. Every room has these really nice chandeliers. You can see the paint is starting to peel all around. Give this place a couple of years and it's going to be in really nice abandoned looking condition. What I can tell you guys is this place closed. Well, there was a flood about three years ago and it completely ruined the basement. Uh, and they've had to strip the basement right down to the studs. And um, then they just basically gave up on the place and they stopped paying the bills. Um, it, it's, it's apparently much too expensive and costly to maintain this place and pay the bills. So the, the people who owned it have abandoned it and nobody wants it and nobody will buy it. And that's because of the amount of money that it would cost to maintain this place. So I don't know if it had been uh, occupied three years ago, but it was ultimately a flood that ended up um, doing this place in. There's a really nice big mirror in there. Hey, look at that. Hey, another chandelier up there. There's a side door.
Check out this staircase, guys. Now you can see it. Beautiful stained glass up there. All right, we'll head on into this next room here. <clears throat> they had just began um, wrapping some of the uh, furniture but it's just been left there they haven't taken it they haven't done anything with it it's the wrapping of it started but they never finished it because this couch here isn't wrapped neither is this one very strange but beautiful furniture though And then here's a playful little uh, statue in the corner. A little girl looking through something. Again, more furniture in here, all wrapped up. All right, so the calendars say 2012. So that could be when they actually vacated the place, but the, the flood happened uh, a few years later. This is a really nice room right here. So this place is actually huge, guys. So it, there's the main building, the main house that we're in right now, and then there's a number of add-ons that have been built and added on over the years. And so, yeah, we're currently still in the main building, but then there's a whole medical wing. Here's that safe we saw last night. Huge. <laughs> more to it. Okay. What do we got here? Just a bunch of boxes. Guys, there's all kinds of stuff stored in here. I don't know what it all is. kinds of little folders in here but I can't read them because they're all in French this is somebody who did something from 1915 to 1924 and then oh. there's a whole bunch of these 1924 Interesting guys. All right, I'll put those back and be right back. There's some silverware, some cutlery in there. That's empty. Anyways, I'm not going to go through all these, but uh, it's interesting. All right, moving on now through here. There's an elevator right there. And I think that, yeah, we were in this room. I think. Yes, that's that room right there that had a bunch of furniture.
There's rocking chairs everywhere in this in this place. Nope. They're all gonna be empty, guys. Yep. These rooms are so little. Another room. <laughs> They're all the same, just wee little rooms. And there's a bathroom right here. And a shower. Very all very open too. Looks like they probably would have had a curtain across here or something. So you could go from the bathroom into the shower, but there wasn't a whole lot of room to get around. Hmm. Okay, let's um, let's stick to the main building. We'll go upstairs now, and then I'll show you guys the other wings where there's um, where there's the medical wing, and I showed you guys last night the chapel. So let's head on up the stairs here. Look at this stained glass. Wow. And then the wall is actually a uh, material. It's not wallpaper. It's a, uh, it's a material. And then we go up a couple more floors too. So let's start on the second floor. All right, so here's your main hallway. And every room on the second floor has these little lights on the outside of the door. And this one's got a hospital bed and here's your uh, emergency help button. So I'm guessing that they would push the button and then the light on the outside of the door would light up. This is a cute room. This room has a little separate room. So this has got like a little sitting area in here. Your sink and a little sitting area. Uh, unless this is a shared room. Because then there's this side here that has the bed in it. So maybe this is like a shared room. I don't know. This whole panel here is peeled off, probably from humidity. There's my room that I slept in last night, room 13. got a fireplace all right 
quick look here. There's uh, three rooms in a row right here. One, two, three. They all look the same, so I'm not going to go into all the rooms. And then there's a bathroom here with a shower. More rooms here. <laughs> so many rooms. That's a unique one. It's, that's not a hospital bed. That's just a plain single bed. All right, let's head up to the next floor. I went up there. There's nothing up there. It's just an empty room. Is there a bell? What is this? I have no idea what this does. Oh, I think it's a vent. Yeah, it's a vent. Okay. Look at this door. I started sleeping up here last night, but it was way hotter up here. It was really hot up here and humid uh, yesterday, so that's why I didn't sleep up here. This room seems to have, those look like ladybugs all over the floor. There's definitely a ladybug infestation on this floor. Like thousands of them. Much, uh, much older up on this floor. The doors are older. It's like it's been dripping from the ceiling.
Look at this little bathroom. <laughs> little toilet right there. And then your shower. <laughs> but they're one and the same. There's a little toilet in the same room and then there's your shower. And then another toilet. <laughs> Interesting. shower here. I climbed up there last night and it just goes up to the elevator control room. There's nothing interesting up there. Unless you're interested in elevator controls. This is a 2014 calendar, so we've seen a 2012 and a 2014 calendar. I wish I found this last night, but this looks like it goes up to the roof. There's a hatch right there, and I really wanted to go up on the roof last night. But I didn't see that yesterday. All right, so that's this floor. So this is your top floor, guys. Okay, so we've covered the main house first, second, and third floor. Let's head back to the other side, to the newer wings. We'll check out the chapel, and then we'll head over to the uh, medical side. Let's go. All right, so this is just a small room here, next to your chapel. Look at all the uh, paint peeling off of this table. It's an old table. Here's the chapel. There's a confession booth right there.
go down here yesterday. Whoa, look at this staircase. I totally missed this last night. I didn't even come back here. other part of this place that I completely missed yesterday. I thought I came in and walked around the whole place, but I didn't. Oh, that's a nice staircase. Wow. room. Weird. A little closet. <laughs> Weird. Oops. Well, I feel like we should check out what's going on here. All right, well, let's see where the staircase goes. Now, the basement is a mess. Like I said to you guys, there was a flood that caused this place to get uh, shut down. So I don't want to spend much time down here because it's probably moldy. Look at this big old furnace. Wow. It's really damp down here. Oh, here's the kitchen. So different during the day. I was here last night and it looks so different. There's a random bathtub in this room. So you guys can see here where they've ripped off all the drywall and everything where the mold damage was the worst. I mean, they didn't get all of it, but you can see that they had to completely gut this basement. That's one of those tubs. It's funny that this is still in here. So this is still part of the medical wing. So there's still, there's still, there's still a little bit of equipment. There's a, some kind of an old wheelchair contraption there. All right, 
I don't want to go upstairs yet because I want to go back to those stairs that we came down and see where they go when they go up. So let's go back, see if we can make our way back there. Here we go, guys. I found him. So let's see where these ones go. December 2014. It's pretty tight and cramped up here. little room. Oh. Leaky radiator. Radiator, radiator. Radiator, radiator. Ooh, look at the tub. light guys my through night light coming in handy now let's see what's up here whoa it's a fully stocked attic with stuff guys <laughs> what <laughs> wow guys I don't usually find attics with stuff in them like this. Look at all these purses hanging over here. Christmas tree here, fully assembled. Oh. Another piece of a Christmas tree here. Actual photograph of Jesus. <laughs> Got something in it. Well, this is interesting, guys. I didn't expect to find stuff. Is this going to be a sewing machine? Nope, it's empty. Huh. All right, well, there's that, guys. We were up in the attic, and I didn't expect to find stuff. Then we found stuff. Cool. Okay, let's make our way down and we'll check out the medical wing and then I think we're done. This whole part of the building took me by complete surprise, guys. Okay, 
So we were going this way originally and through here, right? And here is the medical ward. Here's a room, pretty packed full of stuff. my light here. I don't want to go into every single room because we already know what's up. Wow, look at this one though. <laughs> this is nice and bright. Wow, nice room. in room number two. There's keys in every door. All right, so that's probably what we're looking at here is a bunch of empty hospital rooms. But like I said, from what I have gathered being here, that they did take care of patients with Alzheimer's disease. It's so crazy that it's got such a, it's got an entire medical wing attached to that old house. exam room back here. Okay, so we've done the entire walkthrough, room by room, floor by floor, wing by wing. So now I'll just stop talking, I'll play some music, and I'll just do some panning shots of the various rooms and hallways and just take a little bit of a slower look before we wrap this one up. So stay tuned, guys. I'll be back in a bit.
Wow, guys, what an explorer this has been. This has been the ultimate way to end off my trip. I might have a few more locations to hit on the way home, but I think this is probably the ultimate top location of this whole trip. It was super fun sleeping here last night. It was dark, it was quiet, it was peaceful. Nothing I love more, guys, than a nice, quiet, peaceful night alone in an abandoned building that's safe enough for me to sleep in. And I had a pretty good sleep. And uh, I mean, I was kind of hoping for some weird bumps in the night that I could film. But guys, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen and I'm not gonna fake it. So it didn't happen, but I still had a really cool night hanging out here all night long. And guys, we cannot forget to say thanks to my friends at Throughnight for hooking us up with this awesome high power TC20 flashlight. It came in so handy last night, guys, with the very, very low setting all the way to the highest setting. This light came in super handy, and guys, I cannot recommend enough. Throughnight has sent me so many flashlights, not flashlights, flashlights over the years, but I have to say that probably the TC20 is one of the best. Hit the link in the video description to pick up your own Throughnight TC20 flashlight or other flashlights if this isn't what you're looking for. So that's a wrap, guys. This has been Overnight Alone in an Abandoned Castle. Like I said, guys, cannot show you the outside, but trust me when I say this is a gorgeous, beautiful abandoned house. It has been abandoned for at least three years due to extreme mold and water damage in the basement. The prices and the cost to upkeep this place and to fix it are way too high. The owners have literally abandoned it and nobody wants to buy it. So that's the story, guys, and that's all I can give you. Thanks to you guys for being here. Do all the things. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.